2007 Fiat Ducato 120 Mopa Jet brake service. I've done this side. Um, just done a general service on the brakes and cleaned up everything and give a coat of paint. There was little little rust marks here. That's mainly where when the wheel is spinning, driving, it picking up little stones and chips and hitting there. So that had a bit of silver paint there. Blacked up all inside, cleaned it up nicely. Um, now I'm gonna do the other side. Always very important, jack it up properly off the jacking point and then put an extra axle stand. I mounted the axle stand there on a cradle and then release the jack until the axle stand is engaged because you want to have nice solid, solidly supported van. You don't want to work under anything that's shoddy. Now, these are the brakes. Um, it's a bit of surface rust. It's not that bad. There's plenty of meat on the on the pads, but I'll show you now how to take it apart and do a good cleanup. Standard tools, nothing special. The only one thing you're going to need if you want to take a um, cradle or frame, mounting frame for the um, brake caliper, you'll have to take that out in order to take a rotor or disc off the hub. So depending how far you're going with it, you might need that. That's 14 mil hexagonal or Allen key socket that will go on these two bolts that will take the cradle off of the hub. So whilst, it's, whilst the wheel is removed, good thing is just a general wire brushing off, use a mask because there's no good dust, every dust is bad for lungs, especially around the, you know, brushing out around the caliper because that's the part that's going to come off first. Inflate the dust, just get rid of it. Brembo, Brembo brakes as a standard fitment on Fiat Ducato. Nice. First, you're going to remove these dust cups, the two of them from the, from the back of the caliper. Also, what I like to use is a bucket and I put all the parts in there. Then you'll need a six millimeter Allen key. Goes out to the back there. The sliding bolts that hold the caliper in place. You can see they're coming out easy because last time when I was servicing it, I put lots of copper grease. Take both of them out. caliper comes off. Now what I'm gonna do with this caliper, I've got the wire somewhere, see? I've got thin wire. I'm gonna put it against the spring and then against that part of the caliper and tie it up so it's suspended so it's out of my way. There you go. Caliper is suspended off of the spring. Bolts go there. Now, pads 
coming out. We've got plenty of life, still need a bit of cleaning. You can see they're, they're almost new. They've only been, they only done something like 3,000 miles or something. Then remove the plates, sliding plates. Then we need a bit of cleaning. Now we got the cradle and we got disc. You can see it's got a fair bit of rust on it. I like to keep it rust free as much as I can. So next stage will be turning the wheel, steering wheel full lock to the left. So I have nice access to these two bolts, one there and one there. 14 millimeter hexagonal key on the socket. On two foot breaker bar, make sure that goes gauges nice and tight. And go lefty loose your on this side of the vehicle. I'll have to lift it. Once it's gone loose, you can use standard socket ratchet. On it. Please don't use socket with a hammer. Break a bar, and if it's not, if two foot is not long enough, put a pipe or something on it. <coughs> there, you go. that's off. Right now, once it's slackened off, I can put ratchet on. I'm going to do the bottom one first. And what I like to do then, basically take it all apart, clean it up, give it a good coat of paint, and then reassemble it all together. You can see that red bit there, that's a bit of Loctite. We'll have to reapply that on reassembly because you don't want these these bolts to come loose at any point. There you go. That's a cradle. Just got a bit of surface rust, but we'll get cleaned up. Now we have full access to our disc. Turn, turn the wheel back on to neutral position. Now we got these two positioning bolts. They will come out with, I believe it's size 12. Yeah, 12 millimeters. into the bucket aha uh -huh. nice disc is not seized up sometimes if it's not been removed for a long time you might need to do a bit of persuasion and you can use a hammer or something just tapping around this this edge here don't tap on the disc tap on this edge just gentle and that vibration should lose it, lose it off also you can spray through these holes you can spray some WD-40 or similar just to help it to release but because this disc was already off previously and I like to put a thin coat of grease on this flange here of the hub so disc does not stick onto it you can see how much is got rust on inside again it's all surface rust it's all serviceable discs will need sanding down to get rid of this pitiness because the rust is not is not good on brakes now the next stage we'll be taking brakes dust cover 
quarter on this point. Um, that will be size 10. Size 10 spanner. That's coming off nicely. This one is coming off. So I don't like to go straight with the sockets because I like to feel is it going to come off or not because if it's seized you really want to put some WD-40 or similar to ease it off. Now that's coming off nicely, that's good. And that's coming up. Right. These three little screws or little bolts. I'll put them back in. So you don't lose them. And also during cleaning process, while brushing I don't get dust inside of the thread. And when I put coat of paint the paint doesn't go inside the thread. I need to use my right hand on this. Oh no, can do it with left. So the bolts themselves are going to protect thread from paint. Right, now it's just a matter of wire brush, a bit of wire brush there, a bit of sandpaper, clean it all up, put a coat of paint and then put it back together whilst you're doing all this wire brushing and cleaning use the opportunity to check general condition for all other suspension parts and everything else really so check on the hub there's no play on it it's nice and tight and still moves freely um, condition of the drive shaft, it's only got a bit of surface rust. You got inner CV boot, you rotate that, you can run your hand over it, check for any greasiness. There is no grease on it, it's just a bit of dirt. Then no splits. The outer boot, check again. If, if, there is a gre if there is any grease there, that means you have a split. There is no grease, it's just dirt in good condition check for both of these um, straps they're on check the rest of the joints Let's check the bushings they're all in good condition this is the arm then at the ball joint there check condition of that rubber this is steering, steering rack end. Check that boot, it's all good. Just check general rubbers, joints. Oops. This one is all right. Just general condition all of them shock absorber this one has been changed four years ago should be good you, if you run your finger there around where the shaft is coming out from the main cylinder it's dry there is no grease there there's no oil because if it's gone that will be oily or you have Loads of dirt collect collected to it. There's nothing like it, so it's in good condition. You check general brake hoses, brake pipes, connections, no leaks, all looks dry. ABS connected there. 
and that's it whilst you're doing that you might as well pay attention to these things because if anything needs sorting out you might as well sort it out now All rust cleaned up. Assembly they go the op opposite way of taking apart. So, whatever went last now is going first. I like to put a bit of grease on these threads so they don't seize up for next time I need it. Now, I'm gonna assemble this. I will need two hands. Right, then three little screws. Okay, now it's the cradle. We'll go this way. I will need two hands again to assemble that. And of course the disc. So These two positioning lugs, plug bolts. So this goes on first. These two lug bolts, they will connect disc to the hub. On there, on there, goes to these two holes. And then the cradle goes on. And as I said before, to make life easier next time on this assembly, Bit of copper grease and just like to coat up that surface because that's what makes it seize up and when it seizes up then people have to beat the crap out of it to get it out and off again 12 millimeter spanner for positioning lugs they don't have to be super tight. They're only there to hold the disc in place when the wheel is not on. Right. Now I can turn the wheel full lock left. There it is. Of course, you have to put a bit of Loctite 
that on the thread. I already did it. We got to film that. Then here was a breaker bar. Bit hard to do it one handed. Nice and tight. that to come off in a hurry right next thing will be these stainless steel sliders And then a bit of copper grease, very important bit, just on this part, taking care not to get it on the disc itself. So this is what stops pads from seizing up and they run nice and smooth and the brakes are not noisy. Now the discs, we've been cleaned up. There's no point of replacing the discs, uh, disc pads. You can see how much meat they got. And thin smear copper grease on the back of the pads. Under no circumstances you should get it on the disc itself or on the face of the pad here because that means it's not going to break well. Now I'm going to take this wire off that is holding the caliper suspended, take it off and then assemble it on. I need two hands for that. There's one very important thing and that is these okay. inside of the calipers on the sides with the bolts going through there are two sleeves you need to take them out clean them up and grease them up because that they are the ones that allow caliper to slide back and forth there they are pins sliding pins they're cleaned up. Going to get a bit of grease on it. Slide them back on. Another side is a rubber, little rubber boot. That's protection. Need to slide them on as well. Right, need both hands now on that. And then, once the 6mm Allen key bolts are tight, let me put these rubber dust protectors. So, 
the pins in there are all greased up and that allows free movement of the caliper left and right as it's in operation. And that will stop any squeaks or getting it seized up. Now I can uh, put a wheel back on and drop it down from the from the jacks. Grease on these bolts it helps caliper sliding back and forth as when it operates a six mil Allen key. One is on position. There you go, brake service done. Bit of labour, bit of cleaning, remove the rust. Primer is applied here, later on I'll uh, top it up with silver paint. All checked inspected. Will be good for MOT in uh, another year. Another thing, I hate rust everywhere, including the wheels. So I'm gonna coat up inside of the wheel rims, just a quick coat. Metal protective paint. Okay, satin black. This is just a bit of surface there. They're only one year old wheels. So I want to keep them nice and new, in good condition. One of these sprays costs five quid. In the tool station. It's worth doing.